just answer the question. How many, how many kids have to die on a big Ferris wheel for you to say, shut that thing off? The price is going to happen. A million people every year are going to kill themselves. That's the price for your little life adventure. Millions of people are going to die of malnutrition and starvation. That's the price of your little game you're playing. You have a delusion in your head, an addiction. You think the heroin is worth chasing. Rational brains look at the thing and they say, why would you do this? Why would you get yourself addicted to a silly Cheeto and pay this preposterous price to go chase your Cheetos? Your moments of satisfaction in this existence are just that, little trivial silly moments of joy. Ooh, I outsmarted my next door neighbor and fucked his wife. Little, you know, Scrooge-esque, Emerneser Scrooge-esque glory moments where you're, oh, I stole 50 cents at the store. I mean, the little bullshit that gives you a jolly is just that. It's bullshit. It's been there, done that. Been there, done that. It doesn't do a damn thing for anything else but you. Your diluted psychology, your diluted need, okay? It's your need that's the problem. It's not the Frankensteins that are the problem. It's you making them that's the problem, fucker. So you're just going to ignore the subject, right? You're just going to pretend that human life has meaning and because you say it, and you have enough of you to say it, that means it's the truth. So you're just resorting to what? The argument from popularity? You're not making a rational argument explaining exactly what the function of life is in the universe. You're not explaining what itch it scratches, what comfort it gives the universe, what need it serves, what need it satisfies. Nothing. Because it doesn't do any of that shithead. It, it accomplishes nothing. It's a car that just spins its stupid wheels, and it does it at the price of these misanthropes you speak of. And would you call all of them misanthropes? All the people who would say to you at the end of their life, I'd rather not have been? Every one of them, Jack of Orkian. We could go down the list, there's Schopenhauer. You know, it's probably a pretty long list of people when you ask them at the end of their life whether it was worth it, they would say, no, I really wouldn't do that again. I did the best I could with it, but yeah, it was kind of just bullshit. Just a big, giant pile of bullshit. This little fantasy you think life is. You know, life is brutal. Absolutely brutal. It has these pockets, these, these packets of just harsh, unrelenting, merciless brutality. And especially at the end of life, where it starts to take everything from the individual and gives them nothing back, gives them nothing, just takes and takes and takes. And for you to just talk like <clears throat> everybody who thinks this is too messy, too sloppy, too imperfect, to be just, just without even question, just keep marching the march, just keep doing what we've always been doing. Be a good little goose stepper, be a good little flag waver. And you know how fucking ignorant you sound? It's anything with an intelligence, 